Well, it's an interesting story. Um, it was at Three Rivers. I was sitting at the Cyber Cafe, and I was working on my art project. And I see two bald-headed black men. One is taller than the other one. And I was speaking to my big brother, Mr. Kevin Booker Jr. And um, Diana came up to uh, Mr. Booker and started talking to him. I noticed something weird about Sammy, a fuzzy hat. He looked a hot mess. It was a black and white hat. If it was fuzzy, he looked like a big panda bear, just a skinny version. So then I was like, no, no, no. And I shook my head at him and he noticed me. When he noticed me, I was thinking that he was going to the bathroom, but no, he was coming towards me. And I was like, oh boy, what are we getting here? I was going to the cyber cafe and I saw her looking at me and I was wearing this white and black hat, right? It's a winter hat and she was shaking her head at me. So I came up to her and I confronted her and I was like, why are you shaking your head? And she said, you're wearing this big winter hat and you're inside a building. It's not even cold in here. So I said, so what? I think this hat is cool. And then he sits next to me. So then we start talking about my art project. And it was interesting because the way he introduced himself he was very polite. He was like, hi, my name is Sammy, what's your name? And then we started talking about my art project. I was explaining to him what I was working on. And then after that conversation, he started talking to me about poetry. And then I was like, okay, I like this dude. Okay, cool. But he didn't give me his phone number. And that was very different for me. Because usually when guys want to holler at me, they're like, hey, there's my number, call me. And I, majority of the time, I don't do it because I don't know them. But then after we finished the conversation, I was wondering like, am I going to see him again? Like, what's gonna happen? And yeah. And that's how we met. 